everyone today I'm gonna to be doing my February favorites and I know my video is kind of late everybody else has put their favorites up already and I truly do apologize but if you're watching this thank you and I am sorry so this month I really don't have that many favorites and most of these favorites were things that you saw on my haul that I recently did I don't know how many weeks ago did I do it but um, it was my last haul that I did and my only haul that I did on my channel so most of the things I have are gonna be from that haul okay so the first thing that I've been loving is this beauty blender this I did not purchase I actually got this in my ipsy glam bag because I got extra points and some of you or I think only one person asked me um, where was my ipsy glam bag um, unboxing for February and I filmed that video and it was a complete fail so I didn't put that up I had the beauty blender like a while back and I loved it so much and I stopped using it I kind of almost forgot how well it works and now that I have it I really love it so it's definitely my favorite I've been using this every single day to blend out my concealer under my eyes I really like it if you don't have the beauty blender girl you need to get it cuz it's the best thing ever so another thing that I got also on my ipsy glam bag for getting extra points was this high beam by benefit and this is just a highlighter it's like a um, it's not like your typical highlighter it literally looks like a nail polish. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the back of my hand. I don't think you guys can see this because this lighting really um, is kind of bright. It's really nothing too intense. So I like to put it on my cheekbones and I like to set it with my mineralized skin finish, um, soft and gentle. But this by itself is really great. It's just a nice highlight, but it's not harsh at all. For foundation, my favorite has been this Remo Stay Matte uh, mousse foundation I'm in the color ivory and I'm wearing it right now and it just gives such a great coverage it is full coverage and it's great for people with oily skin because it's supposed to leave your face matte and I really do like it I have it on right now and it leaves your face so flawless one thing that I forgot to mention last month because I have been using this for maybe two months now is this Maybelline um, lip gloss it's called ice chocolate and it is such a nice lip gloss I have it on right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more on <laughs> I was gonna mention this um, in my January favorites but I completely forgot but it's been my favorites this month as well so I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys it is a perfect uh, nude color and it's so pigmented watch like look at that that was just one little swipe that is so pigmented it's just a perfect nude lip gloss and I love it I got this at CVS I'm sure you can get it at Walmart you know wherever they have Maybelline so go ahead and purchase yourself one of these because it's a really great lip gloss and it's called ice chocolate I like to put it sometimes with no lip liner on I just throw it on and it's really pigmented but today I do have um, NYX's uh, natural lip liner and then over that I have this which is really pigmented and I love for a face primer I've been loving the professional and this is um, by benefit I love this because it really fills in your pores sometimes if I don't want to wear makeup like foundation on my face and my pores look too big I'll just go ahead and throw this on and since it is tinted um, it's it's great like look there's days where I don't want to wear any foundation or any makeup at all and I just throw this on and it fills in my pores and it makes my face look so much more healthy and it, I don't know it just fills in my pores and I hate it because there's days that I just don't want to wear any makeup but my pores look horrible and I just cannot stand that so I like to put this on over and it's just it fills in your pores so nicely and I absolutely love it last product that I've been loving is this baby skin um, it's called instant pore eraser. I mentioned these two actually in my haul and I have said that I was thinking of doing like a comparison and I never really got to it so I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little review of both of these. This one is tinted, this one is not tinted. They both leave your face matte. This one fills in your pores and this one blurs out your pores. So if I'm not wearing any makeup and I just wanna fill in my pores, I'm not gonna go with this one because it is clear. I do have this one on today and it blurs out your pores, it mattifies your face but you can still see the pores so this you wouldn't be able to wear without makeup this you can this I like to put on obviously underneath my foundation and apply foundation over it because it's not going to really do anything to your pores but blur them out so blurring it out doesn't mean it's erasing them you're going to be able to see them a little bit it's like when you're watching people's videos their backgrounds are blurred out but you could still see the objects in the background it's the same thing with this you could still see the pores they're blurred out but you could still kind of see them so 
I don't like this um, just by itself. I have to put foundation over it. On the other hand, with the professional, I could just wear without foundation and my pores are almost instantly erased. So that was it for my favorites. I had very little favorites this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.